gear. All right, let's talk about our forecast. Uh, reaching toward the weekend, we're almost there. We're so close. Yeah. We're, we're going to be looking really, really great. We've got temperatures in the 70s for many communities. Lots of sunshine, but we do have a stray shower or two possible there. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But checking out what we saw just yesterday over Pismo Beach, gorgeous conditions, lots of sunshine, a little bit of overlying cloud cover here and there. Really not that much of a problem yesterday, making for a beautiful sunset as well. Just gorgeous conditions yesterday. We'll see very similar conditions for today as well, minus a little bit more of that cloud cover. Outside right now at Pismo Beach, the skies are just starting to lighten up as we head into our Thursday morning. Winds from the north northeast at about 14 miles an hour, and that kind of shows you a little bit of one of our headlines for this morning, and that is those winds continuing to cause a couple of concerns here and there. Another headline is those clear skies making it on the colder side, especially for California Valley. Only 30 degrees out there this morning. That does have the potential for some widespread frost for some of our interior valleys. Thankfully, by our coast, where we're seeing a little bit more of that moderation from those relatively warmer ocean temperatures across our region. Things are looking pretty comfortable across the central coast. As you head out the door this morning, grab that extra layer, though, if you are in those interior valleys this morning. Like I said, winds are one of our headlines. Those northerly winds still causing a couple of concerns, especially along the Gaviota coastline and in our highest peaks in northern San Luis Obispo County. Just something to keep a close eye on. We do have that lingering wind advisory for those highest elevations and portions of the Santa Barbara coastline. That's all the way through 9 a.m. this morning, but it is just going to be a little bit breezy across most of the region for today. We also have a lingering high surf advisory for all of our western beaches all the way through Friday morning at 6 a.m. So just about one more day of this advisory, 8 to 10 feet across all of those western beaches, and there is the chance for another area of those rip currents. We're keeping a close eye on that for today as well. Now checking out your community forecast, 65 degrees in Paso Robles, 68 in Santa Maria, 67 for Lompoc, and 64 degrees in Santa Barbara, but 70 degrees for today in San Luis Obispo. It is going to be a beautiful day. Now temperatures in the 70s over the next few days as well, but we do have a low pressure system that is going to make its way here. Unlike our typical systems here on the central coast coming from the west moving east, this one is going to retrograde. Basically, it's going to back up into the central coast, bringing us a little bit more of that shower risk as we head into the weekend. It won't get too close to us, so this is a very much a minimal chance, but there is the chance for a couple of very scattered showers making their way into the interior valleys for this weekend. We're talking hundreds of an inch of rain total from this storm system, mainly for those interiors elsewhere. Just a little bit of added cloud cover, but still temperatures in the 70s are expected for the weekend, especially on Sunday, warming up even more as we head into Tuesday into Wednesday. A little bit of a cool down possible by the earliest portion of next week. But it's going to be a sunny weekend and a week ahead here on the Central Coast. Neil, back to you. All right.